Unpacking tuples. Creating a tuple. A tuple is a Python sequence, similar to a list. You can create a tuple by enclosing a collection of values in round brackets. However, the brackets aren't usually required. You can create a tuple from a simple list of values, separated by commas. This alternative method is called tuple packing. Unpacking a tuple Sometimes you might need to do the opposite of tuple packing. You might need to assign the individual elements of a tuple to separate variables. The standard way of doing this is quite cumbersome. You need to assign each element individually, as shown in this code. Fortunately, Python provides a simpler method. You can provide a list of variables on the left-hand side of the equals sign, and the tuple on the right-hand side. Python will unpack the tuple automatically. In this case element 0 is assigned to variable x. Element 1 is assigned to variable y and element 2 is assigned to variable z. You must make sure the number of variables exactly matches the number of elements in the tuple. If not, then Python will throw an error. Let's look at some examples. Initializing multiple variables You can set multiple variables in a single line like this. Here we are setting variables u to 10, v to 11 and w to 12. But we are using tuple unpacking to perform all three assignments in one line of code. It is important to understand how this works. First we create a tuple containing the values 10, 11 and 12 using tuple packing. Then we unpack the values into the variables. However, we don't need to do this as separate steps. We can combine the whole thing into a single line. Swapping two variables. Suppose we wanted to swap the values of two variables x and y. We can use code like this. This time we're first packing the values on x and y into a tuple. Then we unpack the values into y and x. This causes the values to be swapped. Notice that this code won't work. That is because when we copy the value of x to y, the original value of y is overwritten. By using tuple unpacking, Python automatically creates a temporary tuple to hold the values as they are swapped. Finally, here is an example of a function that returns multiple values. Here is a function that returns a date as three values, the day, the month and the year. We use tuple packing to return three values as a single tuple. When we call the function, the return value will be a tuple. But if we want we can unpack the value into three variables. The code appears to be returning three separate values. Although of course it is really returning a tuple. One final fact about unpacking. You can unpack any sequence, such as a list, a string or even a range. If you found this video useful, please subscribe, and visit our website in the description.